They're them long siding shoes as well, aren't they? Great. You wouldn't know they're a different size, would you? Look, Josh's bed in them shoes, look. Yeah, them good livies, what he got. Livies. <laughs> they're as good as new now. Oh, mind you, there was new, weren't they, before? <laughs> well, they're as good as old then, now. Well, right, I've got to get off, buddy. I can't stand around talking all day. I've got work to do, buddy. I've got to go, buddy. Right, my boys, before we go, I've got a shout out to do. First shout out, Christopher Scott, he sent me this lot in the post. That's a CB holder. You know, for the P38, because I've got nowhere to hang my CB up, he saw that I was struggling on, on one of my uh, videos and he sent me that through the post lot. Good old boy, thank you, Christopher Scott. And he sent us £30 as well to get some food with on the way to, uh, to the uh, Wrexham. So we'll all have a nice Greg's on you, Christopher. Thank you very much. It's much appreciated, mate. Uh, and I've got a shout out to give to, right, Jake Keatley. He was 31 at the weekend, but it's took me that long to give him a shout out. I think he's nearly 32. So Jake, happy birthday. Well, happy birthday for last weekend. You are 31, weren't you? You're only a pup, mate, you are. You've got years left in you yet. And a uh, shout out to Jake Edmonds as well. They're not related, Jake and Jake. All right, Jake Edmonds. Right, boys, where we're going today is a place called D and J uh, Projects. They're a fencing firm in Nottingham, like Bill Fenton and that. They're on YouTube. They've got, they've got no end of subs on YouTube. Uh, he rang me up in the week. Well, he messaged me on the comments, so I messaged him back. Uh, and I, I, I rang him, but he was on holiday. And when he got back off holiday, he rang me and says, Chris, uh, on my comments, I had some people say that uh, you're the man to come and fix my gear for me because I've had no end of problems with no end of stuff. So are you able to do it? So I said, yeah, of course I am, yeah. I was there talking to him for about, I don't know, half hour. Pushed him bloke, seems not nice lad down to earth. I've even looked at his channel, it's, it's, it's a good channel. So we're going there this morning, boys and girls. Ah, it was in the week 45 minutes to get there now it's 55 because of the traffic obviously i didn't take into account nottingham traffic did i all right dad uh, i'm going to that dj project at nottingham oh, yeah. i'm going there i am oh, yeah, yeah right in the center well near enough right in the center Right, yeah, that's it. Yeah, is it? Yeah. All right, Dad. I'll see you in a bit. See you in a bit, Dad. Oh, yesterday was a nightmare. I, uh, you know what I'm like? Everything I do, I struggle with, don't I? Our Archie's off poorly. He's got tonsillitis. Uh, I've had our birdie, obviously, because it was a Tuesday. I have our birdie on a Monday and Tuesday. Uh, I had a breakdown job, just a quick job it was. Uh, I needed to get some numbers off an alternator and uh, a pipe, a hydraulic pipe or something he said was, was leaking out. Anyway, I travelled there, our birdie was asleep on the way there, she woke up when I was there on the job. Our Archie and her sat in the, the van, boiling hot obviously. I was, I, it took longer than what I thought it would do. We, uh, we was on the way home, I was about out of fuel. And then our arches, our birdies sat there, our arches here, and our arches said, uh oh, birdies uh, done a poo dad and it's gone everywhere. And honestly, it's like an explosion all the way up her chest, all on a car seat, everywhere. Freaking covered in shit everywhere. So I'm there trying to mop it up, virtually running out of fuel, finally get to the fuel garage, get me wipes out of my bag to clean her up, only four wipes in the pissing thing. So I'm there with bug roll mopping up loads oh and she's trying to touch it and my god you know what i mean it's like jesus right kids and then i had to take our arch i couldn't get booked in at the doctors because you can't get into the doctors i don't know who do, who gets booked in at these doctors but i can't so i had to take him to that uh not emergency one what is it urgent care thing in newark uh so we 
were sat there for a while, there, two hours before we got antibiotics for our Arche. Because obviously we've got that skin flint challenge tomorrow <coughs> and it needs to be on the men, doesn't it? If he was going to go with us. And then I heard it as well. Uh, our mum had to go and pick him up from school because he wasn't very well either. Freaking hell! Honestly, you couldn't write it down, you really couldn't. Never mind. Let's get cracked on. Never mind. I'm thinking about running my van on that lot. Might be cheaper. I got that for Christmas. Let's hope we get a lot more of it. I might be able to run my van on it. Red light and speed camera ahead. Clever, isn't he? My old sat nav. He knows when there's a red light, you know. He's a bloody clever thing, that sat nav. Hey, thank you, you lot, as well, for all your support on this skin flint challenge. All your comments and that. Much appreciated. And of course, your donations to the Beaumont Tars. I looked last night, I said to our Mrs. Babe, I can't believe it. The one we're at, this, uh, this Beaumont Tars, we're at £1,990 last night. So we were nearly at two grand, and that was last night. Woo woo! Hey? Busy little yard. And I recognise this look from the videos. Is it in here? Where's Dave? <laughs> nice to meet you, Mrs. DNG. Oh, I'm DNG. <laughs> DNG. <laughs> DNG. DJ. Oh, the radio. Oh, copyright like claim. Yeah. <laughs> radio. <laughs> I didn't realise you had a shop at all and all that lot. Oh, you got some stock in here, ain't you? Hey. No wonder you're busy. What is it leaking? No, one's pointing on the other one. Oh, did it swap another? Yeah. You fancy doing a bit of gym work? Gym in there, no thanks, well, I'm alright. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bustling off, Dave. <laughs> it's all lifts up, coming. Oh yeah, bearings collapsed inside yeah. it. Yeah, I've had it off before, it's quite easy. You can bolt all these. Do you know what bearing it is in there? Yeah, yeah, I've got it off. Got oh, you got the new, you got the new bearing, have you? Oh, that'll do, won't it? Yeah, that's right, yeah. Oh, I've got loads of stuff for you to do here. Yeah. Oh, it's not just them, you know. It's weeks, mate. I know, bloody hell, this'll do. <laughs> Come here every week, then they will. Hey, right, mate. Yeah. Please sick note first. So, oh yeah, no, no, just... yeah. We've got a leak on it again. I just did a leak. Yes, what's well. our channel? Hey. Eh? Well, no. About sick note. She's always bleeding. Sick note's famous for bleeding, is it? I think In fact, I've just took the belly pan off one of these. Same. It's another yarn. Just. Exactly same. What is it under the belly pan? Yeah. The bleeder. It's bleeding from here and all. It's bleeding everywhere. It's a bleeding truck. This is famous, is it? Yeah, that's why it's sick, mate. <laughs> the cracking truck. They are a cracking truck. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, no, because they're compact, aren't they? Yeah. They've got the tonic water on it. They could do a lot more stuff there, a little bit more on it. It's just. Dear, though, these are, aren't they? Yeah. That's why I got rid of it. I saw, I saw one of your videos, obviously, you were on about when you bought that Reddit. He yeah. says that people were commenting, saying, oh, now it's cheap and all that lot. But you buy... said there was about 30 grand difference, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. Well. Brakes on this. Yeah, that's what we're... Not very good. Oh, yeah. Has it got a leak, then? I can't find a leak. Really? Yeah. You must have a leak somewhere if you're losing it like that. But the air lot. When you, that pump when you pump them, yeah. And the back. But it's got no leak anyway. Yeah, but it's a, it's a bit rare. Yeah. I mean, you haven't had no top bit like, have you? No. I take it you've had no work done to the brake throw. No, I tried bleeding them. That's it. I got them back a bit. I can't find no leaks on it whatsoever or anywhere. Or... It's a bit weird. It's isn't it? Normally, obviously. Brand new start and a whole new Unless it's the cylinder, the brake cylinder like losing losing its pressure. 
Guys, let me know on this in the comments if you know it about this. This is the thing about having YouTube, Dave. If you're unsure you can see these guys on YouTube, uh, you get some better ideas then, don't you? Oh, he's got plenty to do anyway. Yeah, let me know in the comments, lads, if you know about that thing there. Obviously, he's losing pressure. He has to pump his brake pedal to get his brakes up, but then they disappear again, and he's got no external leaks on it. Dave's have to look my tripod. <laughs> Oh. Hey, if it works, it does. <laughs> Make sure I don't stand on it. No, no, yeah. They've loads of people here. I go up to it, they're looking at it. I can see him looking at it thinking, what's that dog? He's, he's got a dog in there. It's a, it's a good dog, that is. <laughs> can you strike her up, mate? Yeah. And I'll just have a gander, see if I can see where it's coming from. So we'll try and get that bolt out. I don't know why it's stuck, whether it's just due to vibration or whatever. I'll try and extract that stud out, put a new bolt in and tighten yeah. up the rest of them. And then I'll put the belly pad on. I'll leave that one off and just see whether it's cured it. Obviously that looks like that will be the problem. Yeah, it's not finger tight. I was hoping it's going to be finger tight, but it's not. So I'm going to have to remove this foot off it. Take that off it and then extract that stud out. That big pipe is in my way though. got a mounted underneath here. Two bolt mounted underneath it, what it's mounted to as well to support it up. So I'm just going to remove that. And my getaway, we're just removing the two bolts underneath it, then it'll come out. That's what I'm hoping anyway. 17 mil. Oh, there's another elbow at the back rail that I didn't realise. There's another elbow there, look. But that's gave me enough space, look, to try and extract that stud out with my vice grips. But I've noticed, look at that, look. That's not really doing its job as it should, is it? It needs new O-ring in there. Right, let's get the vice grips and see if we can extract that stud out where it is now without removing it all off. I'm hoping with these, aren't I? <laughs> Oh, they're little beauties. Look at these little beauties. Oh, that's my phone in that hydraulic oil. That's lovely. This poor phone, how it still works is beyond me. There, all clear again. See, my little invincible phone got dunked in the hydraulic oil. What I was gonna show you before I dunked my phone in this oil was this lot. I do like it when a plan comes together, don't you? If not, you see, I'd have to drill that. I'd have to remove it fully, drill it, and then extract it out. But luckily, she's come out, hasn't she? I still need to remove that seal, though, that O-ring. I need to get a new O-ring, because that is squashed. That O-ring has definitely seen better days. That's not meant to be like that, believe it or not. Hopefully there'll be an hydraulic, well, there will be, won't there? If not in a minute, surely there's an hydraulic place around here somewhere. So we need a new O-ring. I'll have a bolt on the van. Let me make sure I've got a bolt. I should have a bolt. 
Turns out I haven't got a bolt on the van. That's metric. That, I don't know what that is. It's not imperial and it's not metric. Right, I need to go and get a new one then from my hydraulic place. But he's got another hydraulic leak on a machine, uh, on that organ machine in there. So I may as well take that hydraulic pipe off and kill two birds with one stone, aren't I? Oh, is that where it was? Yeah, right. Not, not much of it, is it? Oh, does it come out? Yeah, it was Oh, does it? Oh, all right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I see you. Right, I'll whip this pipe off then, Dave. Yeah. Ooh, these look nice to get off, Dave. Don't they? I'll have to get in the water, won't I? Got a little tiny. Oh, is that the cleaning gun thing? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's got my head. Don't like it, does it? Concrete. Need a bit of heat on it, really, you see. Dave's just going to get me a little heat gun. Because, you know, because it's... Well, it's full of concrete, isn't it, obviously? And what I don't want to do is damage that metal pipe there. So I'm thinking if I give it a bit of heat on it, it'll crack all that concrete away uh, and it should loosen that nut up a bit. Yeah, it's sandwiched between two more. It is there. Look. I think that one, that one, up there. Yeah. The middle bogger, in it. It's in a cushy position. Yeah, it's cracked off, yeah. It's just one of them jobs where you can then get a quarter of the turn on it. Beautiful. There she's gone, there she's I'll tell you what, it's going to be a squash and a squeeze to get that in there. You know what it's new and it's not. Dave's got his mobile hydraulic man coming, so we're all right. On to the next job that we haven't got finished yet, then, Dave, at all. It does look dear, yeah, it does, you're right there, Dave. You only pay about 30 pounds for a nickel thing like that. When I was taking off, I thought, ooh, this is dear. It definitely looks expensive. Oh, dear, Dave. Right, what did we see next? Grabbing it. He wants this rotator taking off this grab. Because he's bought this grab. This is going on the four wheel one, four wheel grab, Laura. Because the one on the four wheeler, the grab, it doesn't meet each other. It's got a gap in it, he says. So he's bought this one, but he wants to keep the rotator what's on the lorry. So I'm going to take the rotator off and the pipes off, and then we're going to fit it to the lorry at some point. Right, we'll just have to see what, what his setup's like on his wagon, but it's not back yet. Let's see if the hydraulic man's done the pipes. He's some boy, the hydraulic man. He's already been in gun lock. Hey, I've only been taking that brick grab off. Uh, the rotator off. Where's he put... Oh, my God. He's even fitted the new O-ring lock. He's a bloody good man, that man. That hydraulic man. Oh, it may as well do his pipe then, haven't we? I think Dave must have gone to go and get another bolt for that. So I may as well fit this, Anna. That's a good bit of kit, isn't it? It's just a plumber's uh, thingy, that is, but it's without it, you'd be struggling, wouldn't you? That's going to have to be a next purchase, I think, on my van. Because that is handy. And you don't want to be carrying big, heavy bottles on the van, do I? Because I've grown enough weight on my van. All right, let's see if we can wiggle this in. I got it boys, it was a squash and a squeeze, but it's in. 
bit of nice, you know, when you just get in that right place, then you can just do it up with your hand. You think, oh, that's crushed it all the way up. You know it's on the right thread then, don't you? Just gonna to top it up with our dry floor, then try before I tie her up. And look, Dave's come back bearing gifts from the bolt gods. UNC, the thread is. Yeah. Well done, Dave. Well done. Oh, and you've got locking washes. Not as big as what they were before. Not as long, long. Yeah, we'll do it. I'll do that, I'll do. That'll do donkey. That'll do donkey. Well done. Right, to the next job. Oh yeah, I've took that grab off, Dave. I've took that uh... <laughs> No, one thing is alright. I can't believe how quickly I dropped it. It's only half job though. I've never after it, haven't you? Oh yeah, I've got to put it back on you, haven't I? Oh don't spoil it, Dave. <laughs> I was doing so well then. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, is that what that was? Okay. Yeah, it's like, you like milk, don't you? Yeah, it's a milk, yeah. It's a lot, huh? Oh, hey. Milk place, man. Oh, it's four hours. Hey, come and have Y-Food. <laughs> 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 it's me, the professional struggler, and I only drink Y-Food. <laughs> this is actually one of their sponsors. I'll be allowed to say that. Like, <laughs> Contains 26 vitamins and minerals, lactose free, sugar free, and lasts for four hours. It's not a protein shake, it's a meal replacement. Yeah, you see. And I don't even get paid for that sponsor. God, I'm a good man, I am. But I did get a free drink out of it. Cheers, Dave. And it does taste nice, nice. Mm, they are nice. Right, boys, O rings in. Let's get the bolts in. Now what the trick is here is not to move that o-ring while we're fitting it. What do you drink, mate? Oh, have you? Oh, you're all good. Don't have to around here, thank you. All right, job's good then. Try crook, try her out. I'd call that my pedigree chops. A success. You'll know where you worked it for a bit, won't you? No, we do use it straight away. Oh, like, right, oh yeah. I'll do that. Yeah, it needs just a bit of hydraulic oil in there. I lost it. We've only lost a bit more. It must have been a bit down anyway. Right, Dave's got a problem with this auger look. It's got the bearing on there, and Dave's just told me how to go on about it because he's had this off a few times, Dave, haven't you? <laughs> so remove these four bolts here, remove this pinch nut here, this comes out, and then it's them two bolts and the bearing's situated in there. That's how he tells you how easy it is anyway. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. There's the bearing. There's the bearing. That's the keyway there, look. So 
that needs to be removed before we can get that bearing out. I think we're about there, boys. Now, this is his auger, look, what we've just put the bearing on there. That's the auger in there, look, that turns. Uh, it adds the water there, it turns, and his cement comes out the end and goes into his troughs here. Why he makes the moulds out of for his post and that. Another one back to dust. Yeah, all this is sand and that. What's in that? Yeah, sand and cement and that. Cement in the middle, stone this side. Sand there. Ah, uh, they all get into the hopper down there. On this conveyor belt, these gates are set at a certain height. It runs through. This is cement. Cement drops through there. All Adds churns together it in there. The water comes in here, churns it, goes up, back on itself, back, 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 and comes and out of the end. comes around. out of the Put a bit of kit in it. And the only bit you clean it is this bit. Yeah. You only have so much waste. Yeah, because obviously that's the only bit where it's mixing. And that waste just goes in there, look, in that block. Oh, is that your block waste? Yeah. So any waste we have, put it in there. So you still find a use for it? Yeah. So I'll do. Right, we're on this job now. Uh, we're replacing this one with that blue grab because this one doesn't close up right. So it should just be like for like. I just don't know which way around these two pipes go, but all that does is open and shut the clamp. So if he does the lever and it's meant to open it, the pipes won't, and it closes it, the pipes won't churn around, doesn't it? So it's not the end of the world. So let's get this whipped off. Yeah, he's just trying to see whether they've got the parts the right way around. You know where he's hanging on by that bolt lock? It's found the thread up. So he's got another one off there. I'm going to use that. Let's ride this train. That's it, Dave. Dave's a happy man because now his clamp actually clamps up, Dave, hasn't it? Before, 
How big was the gap, Dave? Oh, that big. Yeah, yeah, look. That was his gap before, obviously, and all his materials were falling through it. Job's good, isn't it? Yeah? Lovely. We're done now, boys and girls. Definitely done. That's enough for today, I think. We well, ain't done bad though, Dave, boy. We struggled on. We have, we struggled on our own. Right, boys, we struggled. Yeah, we struggled. <laughs> We've struggled. We do like a good struggle. We've got this to sort out at some point, the brakes on it. You're going to order a servo for it, ain't yeah. you? Yeah. We're going to gamble and just order a servo for it. It's fine to lift, Dave. I'll come next week. <laughs> Loads, thank you, Dave. It's been a pleasure. And thank you for the shout out as well. I do appreciate it, mate. No worries. Say bye to Stevie for me. I will do, buddy. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you, Dave. It's been a pleasure, not sure. Thank you for your custom. He's good, isn't he? I don't want to hit anything on my way out, Dave. The struggle boss has got enough dents in it. Well, what nice, genuine people to work for. That Dave was good, obviously. He stayed with me most of the day, showing me around and all that lot, so I know what the crack is. Uh, give me some money towards the old uh, Beaumont house. So I'll put that on for him. There they are, look, D&J Projects. So uh, have a look at them on YouTube. Because the good lads they are. Dave and Steve, eight top men. Well, all his family is very, really nice. They're all really nice. Family run firm. Lovely little do. Isn't it? Bob, come on. What's the lorry doing, Paul? Eh? Uh, I've got to go to Scotty's now. He's having difficulty with Magna and they've got to do an alternator uh, on this little forklift and a uh, hydraulic pipe on it. I feel small down here. All right, Scott, eh? How are you? I'm in, yeah. Oh, air con. Right, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> You've been dying, if not, wouldn't you? You can just turn it off. Just, can you turn it off? And just, oh, oh, I know that. Don't breathe. You just lift him up for 20 cans of bar. Oh, yeah. Right, Will Power's got acceleration difficulty on this one. Oh. You see this here? Two ways to skin a chicken. Is that what they say? No. Skin a cat? I don't know. But it's done anyway. Let's put the cover on. Yeah, you need a good right foot for that one. Oh, yeah. Right, we're going to uh, whip this alternator off because Scott is going to go and take it to get a reconned. Meanwhile, I'll be at the skin flint challenge and then next week I'll come and fit it, won't I? So let's whip it off. 10 mil, 13 mil, remove the battery first, uh, and then it's not going to arc over any electrics on it, is it? And then we can whip that off, can't we? You couldn't see that, could you? But that back mounting bolt was dug in like an Alabama tick. What film's that off? Alabama tick. It is off a film, it's saying off a film. I can't fit you in and me in as well. Well, just trust me, it was it was in a bad place. But with my little 3 8 ratchet, I can get most places. It should be... It should be coming out. It should be out me now. And he's not. He's not playing my little game, is he? 
if he doesn't want to play my game, I'll force him to play my game. Because he has yet to realise that the game I'm playing is real fun. And he'll want to join in once he knows how good it is. Ah. That's what we wanted. Right, let's just run out this yard as quick as humanly possible. Ah! <laughs> I just said our work here is done. Let's run out this yard as quick as humanly possible. <laughs> I've got else. Yeah. Oh, Damn it, dog hole. Scott's found me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there, Scott. That's all down to you now. That's all on your shoulders now. Oh, I've got my air come on, look. What's that noise, Christoph? What noise is that? Yeah. What's up with it? Sounds a bit noisy, that does, doesn't it? It's not sound like something's like the fan carlings rattling on the fan or something. Doesn't sound the best, does it? See, I told you I, best, uh, I ought to have run. I found myself a job there. Let's have a look as we go through the keyhole. Do you remember through the keyhole? <laughs> there, look. There's the bolts, let's take them off. You want to fire out? Yeah, you're going to have to, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, we are, we're going now. The fan's like got a buckle in it. Can you see the fan lock? The fan's a bit buckled like that. And that's what's sending it vibrating. <laughs> that's food for thought. Ah, the vibrating fan. Yeah. Oh, well, because if not, it's going to put that bearing up, as you said, isn't it? Prevention is better than a cure. So I'm told. <laughs> I like it, Scott. Let it develop. <laughs> ah! No! Oh, my good night. Mmm. I'm taking this. Cheers, Scott. Cheers, girls. <laughs> right, boys, I've got to go. See you a bit. See you a bit, well. See you a bit, Scott. Thank you. Thank you, Scott. Thank you for your custom. <laughs> ah, the joys of having kids. So they can wet you. challenge tomorrow so come and support us in our p38 mission to get to wales it will be ever so fun i don't know it'll be summit won't it let's find out what happens in it let's find out catch on the next one guys Woo -hoo! see you in a bit skip up baby jobs <laughs>